in my attempt to get my life more together, to exercise and to renovate my room, which that video was coming soon, I promise, there's one thing that I've really always loved because of my dad, plants. I think I've always wanted to be a plant parent, but I just never knew where to start. You know, where do I adopt plants? Or am I supposed to be an adult before I get one? Can I afford to raise a plant? I don't even live on my own yet, so how am I supposed to adopt a plant? These are all very important questions that were answered. You could just go to Walmart, buy a plant, that's it. So plants started to make me happy like a long time ago. My dad has a green thumb. He's always been really good with plants, has a bunch outside in our backyard. Uh, it's the reason why we have any plants at all and why our backyard is green at all in general. And being that he grew up on a farm, uh, I could definitely see where he got it from. And growing up, I've always watched him plant and make gardens and plant things. And a few years ago, he got into doing bonsai trees, which I ended up killing one, rest in peace. And I just found this whole thing pretty cool, especially when I thought plant taking care of plants was such a complicated thing. But then as I was watching a lot of YouTube tutorials and learning about the hobby, I realized that taking care of plants is pretty simple and easy. But it does boost your confidence to watch a tutorial on a plant that you're thinking of purchasing. Uh, that's what I did. I treat it like any other things that I buy. I usually research it on YouTube for a week or two before I end up purchasing it. I got my first house plant at Walmart, which is a golden pothos plant. And this was during the time when I was renovating my room and I was just finalizing all the little decorations. And then I thought, why not add some plants? Recently delved into the universe that is plant YouTube and I got sucked in. I loved everything. I found it so interesting that you could grow plants, you can do all these things, and you can even propagate plants, which means stick them in water and they will grow roots. It just seemed magical to watch and my hyperfixation began. And as soon as I started adding plants to my room, it really brought the room to life. And I feel like it just made me a lot happier. And plus it was really cool to see stuff grow and just see the progress it's making. And it kind of helps remind me to care take care of myself because I tend to forget, but I can't forget to take care of my plants because otherwise they might die. It made me realize that plants can be for anyone. Uh, we kind of overcomplicate the fact that we kill so many plants and that we don't know how to take care of them. When really all plants are very similar, there are just a few specific ones that require a little bit of, dish of additional care. But outside of that, there's really nothing complex about it and it's just really basic stuff. Give it water every once in a while when the soil gets dry. Give it some sunlight, but not too much, depending on what type of plant it is. And that's pretty much it, honestly. So I've enjoyed it a lot, and I just want to share with you um, the excitement for plants. So on to today's special activity. Repotting some propagated plants that I have rooted and ready to go. So now that we have these pots filled, uh, it's time to repot some plants that I've been propagating for a while. If you don't know what propagation is, it's basically taking cuttings from plants. Uh, it doesn't work with all plants, I don't think. It works only with certain types of plants, um, but you can get them, most plants to root while just soaking them in water for weeks on end or months on end. Um, and that's what I've done with these pothos plants. Um, I have uh, the mother, as you would call it, the mother pothos, pothos plant. Um, it's a golden pothos plant. So it has like nice little gold patterns. Um, most of these are pretty green. I had to cut off a lot of um, dead pieces because um, it just wasn't doing too hot when I first got it from Walmart. Um, and it was a $10 plant and I'm turning it into many other plants. So I think that's what's really fun about plants is the ability to like increase how many plants you actually have. And I have a couple more that were sitting on my desk over here. Same pothos plant. And I'm really excited to see how these turn out. A lot of these have already rooted, as you could tell. I think they're ready to plant. I've never really done this before. I know you could just theoretically leave these in here for indefinitely and they'll still grow, which is fine. Um, but the idea was to be able to plant, replant them and use them somewhere else or give them away. It feels like I'm creating stuff, but really the plant's just doing its thing. And I'm just saying, hey, grow, but separate. Because <laughs> uh, really all that Walmart and other places to buy, you buy plants from do with these types of plants is they usually have at least like three different cuttings. And um, this happens with pothos, pothos plants. And um, you can especially see it in bigger plants like um, I think they're called like palfeas or something. Um, and like the monstera behind me. Uh, those are the type of plants that usually have like three different cuttings. 
um, and they put them together to make it look like a bigger plant, but it's actually just three. So the same thing I did with my Monstera was I, I got one that had three different plants in it, and uh, actually more than that, it had um, about like maybe like six of them. And I spent a little extra money just because I knew I could split it in half and at least get two plants out of, that, out of it, if not more. Um, so I'm looking forward to maybe doing some future videos where I propagate a Monstera and show you the process behind that. Um, but this is just kind of a new little hobby of mine, you know? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the Palthus plant. Um, the soil, in case you're wondering, I think it's like potting soil. My dad's really into gardening. He has a green thumb, he's had it since forever. He grew up on a farm, so he kind of knows what he's doing, so I trust him. Um, and so far, the potting soil that I've used for my Monstera has worked great. Um, it's growing um, a bunch of new leaves. Um, same thing with the pothos, pothos plant. And so um, I'm gonna use the same soil as that, which I think is just normal potting soil. Um, mixed with a little bit of rocks, like volcanic rock. And that helps prevent a little bit of the root rot that you might get if you um, water your plant a little too much. I'm pretty careful and cautious because uh, less is more with a lot of these house plants. So my first friend I am going to plant is uh, this one that's done really, really well. Um, it has a bunch of different roots in it. Uh, I showed it in the intro of this video. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time, so I'm pretty interested to see it up in person and close but it's developed a lot of different roots. I have about five cuttings to put in here, so um, I guess it really doesn't matter where I put things. I will definitely have to get more soil though and um, kind of fill in the gaps. A lot of these aren't super pretty looking because they were kind of messed up, but I think that is fine because a lot of us people are messed up in life and you know what? We still grow and we are still pretty in our own individual ways. But yeah, lots of roots have developed, which is nice. I actually used a rooting hormone as well to help, kind of help um, speed up this process. And I think it's been going pretty well, but they're all pretty good. Some of them are a little weird. I'm hoping once I transfer them to soil, they can kind of keep growing and get the nutrients they need. But I think after some time, it'll start to grow in, grow a little bit better as it gets more sunlight and more nutrients from the soil. But as you can see, this basically turns it into like one full plant, even though it's kind of scarce right now. I think that'll be all right for now. It's not gonna be the prettiest plant in the world, but it's gonna be awesome because I multiplied a plant. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it is messy. That's, that's all there is to it. I don't really know how deep to plant these, but based off of what I've seen in my other Pothos plant, I think this will be pretty good. So what I'm gonna do after this off camera is I'm gonna just water it down and uh, make sure all the soil is kind of wet and damp. And next we're going to repot this little guy um, this is called an elephant bush. Um, we have about, we have two huge plants of this outside in my front yard. Living in Arizona, succulents grow really well. And so I had seen somewhere that you could actually propagate these as well. And so I decided to give it a try, trimmed off a bunch, a handful from um, the tops of the plants. And most of them have roots. And so I'm really excited to see what they do if I start planting them. And there is some growth on some of the ends of these. Um, which I think is quite promising actually, which some of them haven't even sprouted roots yet and they're still growing. So succulents are just kind of a hardcore plant. This one has the best root system so far. And that's been pretty interesting because it, it, once it started growing, it uh, grow, grew really fast and these roots are pretty long. Um, so I'm excited to see what they do in the soil. Um, I'm using the same potting soil. I mean, experts can get mad at me. Fine, I don't really care. But yeah, there's there's a bunch. Some have like one little root coming out, but it's just showing me that, you know, they're they're healthy enough to, to plant, hopefully. Oops, you know, we lost a little succulent thing. How sad. All this is really experimental. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just watch a lot of YouTube tutorials and that's how I figured all this out. Um, so maybe this will help inspire you to try it yourself. I think that's what's fun with plants is they kind of know what to do and um, as long as you're giving them what they kind of need they'll do the growing themselves. These are very awkward to plant I'm not gonna lie. Because actually if you cut things like at nodes which are like basically where like the branches meet and stuff you can kind of see them if you start researching it. You'll see kind of like on this one there's kind of like a notch you can cut, kind of cut within that notch on most plants and that will help influence it to grow. Those are all the elephant bushes I have. Again not the most aesthetic plant in the world um, but I think it'll look pretty cool for what it is. And for La Piste de la Resistance, we have a terrarium that we're gonna be replanting. My dad has this terrarium that he bought a while ago and the plants died out really quickly. It wasn't really properly maintained or something was going on. I mean, anything in a terrarium can go wrong. So he bought a new bunch of new plants and asked if I wanted to make a video on it. And this is where that's going. 
is at the finale of this video of replanting a terrarium. <laughs> so let's get the pieces out. And we have all of our supplies ready to go. Uh, this is the big terrarium my dad's had for a while. Um, again, the potting is kind of boring, so I didn't even film it because my dad did it a few weeks ago. Um, but it's just basically some volcanic rock here at the bottom um, and some top soil, just like the soil I've been using. Again, if you guys have any tips or recommendations on how to do terrariums or if all of these things that I'm doing are wrong, uh, please let me know in the comments because uh, YouTube is a great place to learn. For our plants, uh, we have a bunch of different variety plants, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, one of these guys is not doing too well. It might just be because of the humidity. Uh, the same thing happened to um, this Calathea plant that um, I've been trying to revive, um, which hopefully I'll make um, a video about in the future. I was filming a bunch of content for it. Uh, in preparation for seeing what happens in the next few months and uh, maybe make a short video on that in the future. But yeah, with these leaves a lot, um, most of these plants need a little bit of humidity and they will dry out. Um, though these are very yellow, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, but all we can do is kind of replant it, clean it up a little bit and hope for the best. Um, we also have this palm, I forget what it's called, but it is a, a type of palm tree. Um, and I had one of these actually, it was really cool. I like it because it feels like a little mini forest, um, but mine had died um, due to my neglect and misunderstanding about how plants work. Uh, and then we got this vining plant, which is doing quite well. It has a bunch of new growth on it, which is really cool um, and promising. Um, I don't really know much about this plant or what it's called. It looks like it might be like, um, is it angel's breath or something like that? I think what it's called, but um, I don't have the proper names for everything, but we're just here for amateur hour folks um, and then this is um, another little plant I, I forget the name of this one my light just fell uh pay no attention to that um, but then this other plant i'm not really sure what it's called either but uh, we will see how it does in terrarium um, and then lastly we have a succulent um, this i also have another succulent that looks very similar um, that i showed at the beginning of this video and I think me and my dad agreed that it both, it belongs in a different pot by itself because these things grow really quickly and they require like in a different environment than a terrarium would provide for them. So um, we are probably just gonna keep this one off to the side and use it in a later potting. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Um, we're gonna stick with these three and just see what happens. I'm kind of curious. You know, these plants in here will look great, but um, the real test is over time how they actually do. Um, and surprisingly, plants don't actually need oxygen to thrive. They produce their own oxygen, and um, the only things that they need are the right humidity, temperature, and um, watering, and nutrients in the soil. Um, so it's pretty nice. So I think we'll start with this palm, and we'll probably put this in the center. Um, I feel like that would be the best option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this potting soil, and I'm just kind of kind of mash it up a little bit and take off some of this extra soil just so I can expose the roots a little bit so it can kind of get a little bit more well adapted to this other environment. I'm gonna leave a bit on cause I'm just feeling like maybe I don't wanna shock it too much. And a lot of these are like individual plants which is kind of interesting. It's just the way it grows. Um, so we'll see what happens, but we're gonna put it in the pot. Oop, I have a lot of room to stand up in here. This is kind of hard. But what I'll do is I'll just make a hole, stick it in and hope for the best. Oh man, it's so bad. Maybe we'll put it on the side. I think maybe having kind of like a sloping terrarium might be pretty cool. Again, this is not gonna be the cleanest thing, but you know, uh, my dad provided all the supplies for this. This is more of his thing. I'm just planting it for him. Um, but I'm curious to see what happens. Okay, so now that we got that, we are going to, I think, plant this vining plant. I'd also be curious to see if I can get it, as long as it survives, <laughs> I would love to get some cuttings from this. We'll just unwrap it, which it's really interesting to buy plants online. I don't know, that, that feels like a, a no-no for some reason. <laughs> but I'm gonna do the same to this one. The plants look really healthy, so that's good. Um, healthy as in they're not dead yet. <laughs> but they seem pretty good as far as my limited experience goes. Um, but my dad's a green thumb, so I usually trust his expertise on things. Um, that and YouTube. Because in reality, you can wash, rinse these out, and it doesn't really hurt them. Um, you can even trim some of the roots off. But I just want to kind of keep them on as much as I can. I think just right around here is fine. 
kind of dig a bigger hole for it. Again, my plan is plant them and hope for the best. And then we'll work with this guy. Also, if you're enjoying this video, uh, be sure to drop a like. This is definitely a very different styled video than I'm used to making, but I felt like just making a chillax video about plants and showing you why they're important to me. There's lots of things and hobbies in my life that I, I pursue as like fixations randomly throughout the year. And um, this is one of them I think might stick because I really love plants. They've like lightened up my room. They've made me feel good. And so I feel like it's one of those things that I wanna keep around. Now I'm just gonna semi-gently rip these out, dead ones. I don't really know what to, else to do, but just to kind of pull them out. And I actually can make two of these. So I'll probably just plant two of these split up like this to see what happens. I'm trying to make room in the front for this last little plant. I think will be a cool little accent in the middle as it's being the smallest. I'm just going by hierarchy. I'm using what little knowledge I have from my art school days. All right, last but not least, this little guy, just grabbing the base of, by the base of the plant. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Plants are just little living things. I feel like the plants are a lot stronger than humans sometimes. <laughs> they can survive and endure a lot. Can they endure my low quality amateur gardening skills? Um, we'll just, we'll see. And so there you have it, um, my terrarium build. Uh, it ain't great, but it's it's decent, I think. And I'm sure we'll probably eventually include like maybe some decorative rocks or things in there just to kind of spice things up a little bit. I even told my dad like even getting moss for it would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, uh, that is my amateur plant hour for you guys. I hope this video was fun. I know I had a lot of fun. It's definitely a different style, so let me know what you think. Um, I'm just exploring what type of content to make on this channel, but I'm just really excited to share with you guys what I'm up to and what random hobbies I'm into. And hopefully you guys can take some inspiration. And I would recommend if you're just interested in starting out use having some house plants, just go to your local Walmart and pick up like a pothos plant. They're very simple to take care of and they're pretty hard to kill. Um, mine's been doing really great and it's grown like maybe three new leaves since I've had it. And I've had all my plants now for about maybe like two or three months. Um, and things have been going really well. And with a pothos plant, you can also trim off the vines and um, propagate them like I have and replant them. So it's kind of like a replenishing house plant. Uh, it will just keep birthing you more house plants as time progresses. Same thing with Monstera plants and any other vining plant. Uh, it's just kind of fun to see what things you can propagate. I think the fun part is to be able to gift that to other people eventually because there's no way I'm going to have enough room for all these plants. So eventually I will be starting to give them away to friends and family. So I think that'll be a really fun thing to do when that time comes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.